so good to see you today, and greetings to those who are following us online and those who are listening on 97.9 The Bear. Good to be with all of you today. Please, as we begin the service, remember to silence your cell phone. Make sure you read all the announcements in the bulletin. There's a lot of important things in there for you to know. The response cards in the pew look like cards with the QR code are for you to put prayer requests on or to ask for information about our church if you're a visitor and to put those in the offering plate later or you can enter that uh, scan the QR code and enter that information online. And there will be a Stephen minister down front at the conclusion of the service to pray with you. I will do what I did this morning at the 8.30 service. I want to start by apologizing in advance for the pony. Somebody asked me what the pony is. I'm apologizing for being a little hoarse this morning. <laughs> Wednesday for the meal. 
Please note the financial update in the bulletin. It's there every Sunday. Uh, the only thing that jumps out at me is that we're in year two now of our campaign for the 250th campaign, uh, 250th renewal of the church, and uh, we still have about $534,000 worth of track to cover to meet our pledge. So just keep that in mind. And then uh, last but not certainly not least, there is a called charge conference of the church on, on May the 30th, Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. It's very simple for one purpose only, and that is to approve uh, pastoral compensation for our two new associates who are coming to service. That is something that has to be done every time you have a new pastor. It's a formality, but we do need to get together on Tuesday night, the 30th, a church council to uh, be a part of that. It should be a short meeting. And I believe those are all of the announcements that I have. My prayer for you today, friends, and I have seen this musical already once, and it's <coughs> incredible, it's incredible, is that God will illuminate your spirit and enliven your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand if you're able. Let's join in the call to worship in the bulletin. Following that, we'll sing hymn number 581, Lord, whose love through humble service. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. 581. Mm -hmm. Send your spirit among us, O God, as we meditate on your love. Prepare our minds to hear your word. Move our hearts to embrace what we hear and strengthen our will to follow your way. This we pray through Christ our Savior. Amen. You may be seated. Yeah. 
treasured the earth, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So, God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the earth, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding <coughs> seed, uh, seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the earth, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything, everything that does breath of life, I have given green plants for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. Would you please stand as you are able for the Gospel reading? The Gospel reading is taken from Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 to 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child to be put among them and said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble, like this child, is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name, welcomes me. This is the word of God. Good morning, everybody. We are so excited to be presenting this musical to y'all this morning that these little ones have been working on since January. Um, I want you to take a look around at the amount of teeny tiny young ones that we have in front of us today who are about to blow you away. They have memorized songs, dances, lines, where they go when, like a bunch of pros. And it's amazing. Also, when you're looking around, at these spaces, I want you to see the future of this congregation. That's what this is, and that's pretty amazing. So they deserve all the cheers, and all the praise, and all the wonderful, wonderful words. And here we go, are y'all ready? Is everybody in their place? It's okay to say yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. The Centenary United Methodist Children and Youth Choirs present in the image.
God created the sun and the moon and the stars beyond compare. God created the fish of the sea and the birds that fill the air. And he was good, so very good, 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 good. He was good. God created the bear and the bug and all creatures on the land. God created the people to care for the earth and God the land. And once creation had been blessed, God took the day to get some rest. God always knows what's for the best. God was big. Sorry. Maybe she won the lottery and moved to Tahiti. make your twisty ladder. I'm going to make pictures of my favorite animals and I can use markers and ribbons and glitter and glue and glitter glue. I can create a dance with bugs and I can What's the matter?
That's everybody, isn't it? So glad to have you with us. I have a few questions that I always ask when people join our church. On behalf of the church, I ask you, do you renounce the page 34, by the way, Doug? Follow along. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power of God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord, in union with the church which Christ has opened up to people of all ages, all nations, and all races? According to the grace given to you, we remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as his representatives in this world. Congregation, if you would look to page 35 at the top, do you, as Christ's body of the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these verses now before you in your care?
congregation for praying for me the last week as I've been sick with the, uh, the spring crud that's going around. It wasn't COVID, it wasn't the flu, and you can hear my voice is still recovering from it, so thank you for your prayers. And I also want to shout out to Carrie Cooks. Um, I, I was given some Karen Cooks meals last week, and we really appreciate it. What a wonderful ministry that is. And thanks to Mary Peeler and the others who were part of Karen Cooks. I think we ought to give them a hand. That's a wonderful ministry.
God, we seek your blessing on our land and its people. We seek your blessing on all nations and all communities. We seek your blessing especially on places where people are suffering so terribly from violence and war and revolution. We pray about situations of neglect or abuse or grave injustice that are going on in the world. And we pray for all those who are suffering from storms and earthquakes and floods and fires and famines. God of mercy, disperse the enemies of human happiness and build up everything that reflects your beauty and your courage and your love in this world. God, we seek your blessing upon the church in every land where it is established, especially in places where the faithful are being persecuted even today. We seek your blessing on churches that ail from too much ease and prosperity from having it too easy. And yet we also give you thanks for churches that through prayer and deed are seeking the unity of Jesus Christ. God of mercy, disperse the enemies of human happiness and build up everything that reflects your beauty and courage and love in this world. Lord, we do seek your blessings on our congregation today. We, we lift up those situations that we mentioned and others that we keep in the silence of our hearts and ask that if there are ways in which we can help that you would direct our steps. We pray for those whose personal illness or grief is all that they can handle at this moment. And we pray especially for those who feel like they can't handle the burdens that they're carrying. We also pray today for those who feel like they don't have anything to offer, that they're too weak in their faith, or they're too frail in their body or their spirit to offer much. And we pray that you would just remind them that their presence, either here or online, and that their prayers mean so much to what you're trying to accomplish. God of mercy, disperse the enemies of human happiness and build up everything that reflects your beauty, courage, and love in this world. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now, friends, let us offer the best of ourselves and our blessings and present them as an offering and a gift.
Please take just a brief moment to share the peace of Jesus Christ with your neighbors to your left and to your right and behind you and in front of you.
Thank you for joining us in worship today at Centenary United Methodist Church. If you'd like to know more about Centenary, go to www.centenarychurch.com. If you'd like to speak to me or another staff member, you can reach us at 252-637-4181. Or if you'd like to visit us, come to 309 New Street in beautiful Newburn, North Carolina. God bless you, and remember, God loves you.